you know how like during the last election there was like um uh bot like Cambridge Analytica like collected all yeah, the yeah, yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that Facebook and election. everything why do people not realize that's happening now like look at all the quizzes and all the stuff and like 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 for instance uh I saw on Facebook someone was like yo like say the name of that one teacher who always had your back in high school I'm like that's a security question oh, oh, yes. dude. Dude. Oh, I, saw my that, dude. I saw you post oh. something and said like yeah. why don't people real it was on Facebook and you posted why don't people realize like these are the answers to your security questions and a fucking just mind blown I never even thought like of the possibility of that happening dude right like just being like oh what's your uh favorite pet's name and there's a little yeah, yeah. oh what's what's your, your mom's name? name is your street combined with your pets <laughs> it's like, what? which like if your mom's Before your mother name, was married <laughs> what was her yeah. name <laughs> and we're gonna describe how it describes you <laughs> is there a 10 yeah. digit number that you have randomly memorized <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I know oh, that's man. so fucking true, dude. I I think you posted it or someone else posted it on my timeline. It was so mm -hmm. funny to see, like, because you, you have the ones that are 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 posed so perfectly as, hey, like, ask ask your boyfriend his first fucking response or whatever, and then it's like yeah. forty questions, and then like, but like a lot of those are orchestrated to be, like, because what happens is you can Facebook search that quiz name or the quiz's first question yep. and see the last hundred people that have posted answer to those yeah retrieve all those answers and just fucking steal identities or mm -hmm. bank accounts well it's all that. it's all public information on facebook too i mean very little unless, unless you make it private, private but the same mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yeah but in same single one of those note, like it could be one of your friends mm -hmm. yeah that's and true. they all connect your facebook account that's how you like get the results of your quiz or whatever is to connect yeah. your account and download that way it's like you know that's how they get your login info and stuff like that right <laughs> like, what's, dude, what, what's your uh favorite pet's name oh well it's uh <laughs> fuck you. it's so true dude i think about that all the time i always get nervous about like saying shit like because what and i i, I don't want to bash anyone this applies to like in our chat but like the thing that sh that drives me wild is people that post like a bunch of stuff about their kid and then mm -hmm. I just think about like the thing is there's so much like there's so many people that you've you've befriended over the years and you got to think about us where we grew into Facebook from the MySpace age. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of people you just befriended because you knew them in high school because there was an era where like a grand majority of my Facebook friends are just because everyone that had a Facebook became friends with everyone that had a Facebook in high school. Yeah. So like there was yeah. no you didn't need to necessarily know them. Just the fact that it says went to Pinkerton Academy or went to whatever high school you're you're most likely friends with them so and a lot of those people grow up to be murderers drug dealers pedophiles <laughs> and like it, no i'm serious well yeah, like no i guess like not like, i get you in that your friends i get you in theory ever. i get you in yeah, theory but like i yeah. mean like the pe that like those people are normal people too or or like people you grew up with without like they didn't they weren't fucking murdering people in your high school. Like they ended up being murderers. Like mm. take for example, like Carlos. five episodes ago where I had a story yeah. time about the fucking kid who murdered his fucking ex-girlfriend and we were boys with him and he came over to my house. Yeah. You don't even mm. think about shit like that. So like there's people that are pedophiles that have been that close to you too. Yeah. And then you're going around posting pictures of your kid and like, oh, bath time with little Jimmy. And it's like, dude. You're literally and like this. These are all public posts. Yeah. So yeah. all these posts that you're posting to Instagram or Facebook or wherever are public knowledge now. Mm -hmm. And and then you have and then we talked about it before where there was this woman that was posting her kid crying from being bullied. And it's like now whenever you search that kid's name, that video is going to show up of him crying and like pledging yeah. to commit suicide. And it's like. Dude, like d your kids, like when you are make you a Facebook, it's like, are you spreading awareness or are you branding your child for life? Kind of like yeah. the, walking between that fine line. And it's it's like, all right, you do realize like your your like your kid doesn't have the the mental capacity to realize what a terms and conditions are and what you're agreeing to when you're posting on Facebook and making an account. So yeah. when you're posting for them at three years old, four years old, when they're I, I get it but like back then it's because what happens is now we're building digital facebook's instead of building physical 
uh, you know, photo albums or whatever to show people. Mm -hmm. So now we're posting online, but now it's easily accessible to anyone. So I like that shit. I like to just compound off of your um, like the the quizzes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. The 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 baby pictures and child pictures that mm -hmm. baffles me uh, as much mm -hmm. as like disclosing your personal data to to everyone to see on uh, everywhere in the world. You know, in the world. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, totally. And like on an even less um, malicious like perspective, like even if say it's not a security question, like that's still data that you're providing a company and they're definitely going to take that data and just sell it. You know, oh, absolutely. Like, yeah. You can bank off of stuff you're giving away for free. <clears throat> Dude, it's a scary fucking world out there when you think mm -hmm. I saw because um, TikTok has to make its way into at least. <laughs> every one of our podcasts um but i saw a tiktok it's somewhat relevant to your topic of saying that like when you say something around your phone and it because you've agreed to x amount of terms and you've mm -hmm. agreed for them to have access to your camera or microphone or whatever it is and then you talk about something and then you look at your phone and miraculously there's an ad for whatever you were talking about <clears throat> and that happens so often and it's just like oh, there's there's so many forms of um this type of like to put in the comments like people that are data illiterate that don't know what they're doing when they're doing it <clears throat> it's absolutely i i See, don't even want to say and crazy it's, it's not crazy it's something that like people should be aware about and like kind of <laughs> it's funny because it's it's so stupid it. you know when you overthink things that are so obvious mm -hmm. so it's like are they reaping like your 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 like the access to your microphone or is it the fact that you've already looked up that product or similar products so and then you're talking about it and then you're talking to people in your household that are searching things because sometimes they provide advertisements for things that are popular in your vicinity or in in your state in your city in yeah. your exact neighborhood so if you're talking about going on vacation you've gone on vacation so many times and maybe you talk about a different vacation and they provide that mm -hmm. because i've also heard there's something about what happens is we are when we're scrolling through like instagram or facebook you miss 20 30 like um 20 30 like ads already because you're so prone to ignoring it that the ones that poke out to you are the ones that you've been thinking about but you might have missed something else you were thinking you know they say you're thinking about mac and cheese but you're so prone to ignoring every single you know um like advertisement that goes to you that the one you're you're grown to but then it's like am i overthinking it that really is just because people are spying on us yeah. and that's why the ads are to us or is it because we're randomly paying attention to the one out of 200 ads that are presented to us that happen to be something you talked about that happened to be something you already researched last week about yeah it's a valid point it could it could be either or